Hello and welcome to our new vocabulary lesson. The first part of unit 12. The school division is learned to daily tomorrow. And the mission is creating well prepared individuals cognitively and behaviorally while focusing on developing psychomotor skills. And this is the title of the unit message from Norad. We're going to read and discuss the context clues for the new words. These are the objectives. By the end of the session, you should be using you should be able to using uh, context clues to find out or figure out the meanings of unfamiliar words. The first word is abuse. Abuse is a noun, and the meaning is improper, wrong, or cruel treatment, or insulting language. And the example is the abuse of power is a danger in any government. Abuse here means the cruel treatment. It could also mean insulting language. Abuse is a verb and the meaning is to put to bad use, to misuse, or to hurt or damage by treating badly. Hurt, so three, there are two meanings here. Uh, the first one is to misuse, to use in a bad way, or to hurt or damage by treating badly, to hurt someone's feelings, or to mistreat them. The example is, if you abuse your privileges, you may be taken, they may be taken away. Appliance. Appliance is a noun, and it means a machine or tool used to do a household job. Like what? Like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, it seems an awfully big claim for such a little appliance. So appliance means a tool or machine used in the house. Confirm. Confirm is a verb and it means to agree or to prove that something is true or to make sure or remove any doubt. Okay, so there are two meanings here. The example is the press secretary refused to confirm the report. Here confirm means to agree or prove that this report is correct or true. Daze. Daze is a verb and it means to stun or confuse. Some predators daze their prey with a blow on the head or to the head. So they, became, they become dizzy. And daze is a noun. And it means a state of confusion. When I heard that I had won the prize, I walked around in a daze. Very well. In a delightful confusion. Okay, flimsy. Flimsy is an adjective. And it means a not strong or solid or poorly made or not convincing. So it has three meanings, not solid, not strong, or poorly made, or not convincing. I don't think my teacher believed my flimsy excuse for not doing my homework. Here flimsy, uh, the meaning of flimsy here is the third meaning, not convincing. Gauge. Gauge is a noun, and it means a standard measure used to tell size, thickness and so on or an instrument used to measure so it means a standard or the instrument for measurement whether scientists use a gauge to measure rainfall gauge is a verb and it means to measure or estimate the cat seemed to gauge the distance before jumping onto the windowsill gauge here means to estimate or of course, here means to estimate in this example. And migrant. Migrant is a noun and it means an animal or person that moves to a different region as the seasons change. Like these animals that migrate from one place to another searching for food or water. Or a farm worker. Here this meaning is especially for farm workers. Farm worker who moves seasonally 
to pick different crops. So people were, who work on farms. And the example is we passed a field full of migrants picking berries. The farm workers move from one place to another according to the season searching for work. Migrant. Neutral. Neutral is an adjective and it means not taking any side in a disagreement or war. This is one meaning. Or lacking distinction. And Switzerland. Switzerland remained in neutral in both World War World Wars One and Two. Here neutral means not taking any side. Pitiless. Pitiless is an adjective and it means showing no sorrow or regret for another's sufferings or troubles. The audience booed the pitiless villain. So the villain was pitiless, means showing no regret for his evil doings. Presentable. Presentable is an adjective and it means it fit to be seen or inspected fit to be seen or my uh, sorry the example is my parents insisted the, that my brother wear presentable clothing to the award ceremony presentable here means fit to be seen elegant and suitable uh, ro rotate rotate is a verb and it means to turn around the central point or to alternate and the example is do you know how long it takes earth to rotate once once what around i guess here it means around the sun it takes a year 365 days and shred shred is a noun and it means a thin strip or a tiny piece or a noun so or a tiny piece not a shred of evidence was found so not a little tiny piece of evidence was found in the crime scene shred is a verb and it means to cut or tear into thin strips or small pieces to rip up okay do you know these uh, shredding machines the example is the Aid will shred the company's old files. Thank you so much. I hope all the words are clear enough and see you in the virtual classes.